find me, won't you? Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Sounds like it really means something. Like so many, screenwriter Robert Town, who would go on to script films like Chinatown and The Last Detail, got his start in the industry thanks to Roger Corman. It's fun. Last Woman on Earth is his first screenwriting credit, and it's fair to say he's still learning his craft. Harold, if rotten money smelled like rotten fish, they'd have given you a bank to yourself. Unfortunately, the script wasn't finished when Corman was ready to leave for Puerto Rico, and he wasn't about to spend money on another plane ticket. <laughs> I said cheap. So he cast his writer in the movie. That's nice to know. In fact, Town is one third of the cast, playing the put-upon assistant of a disgraced businessman. I have to pick up Harold's briefs. Who is on holiday with his new wife. Harold's wife? Occasionally. Feels like her heart's not in the marriage. They go scuba diving together, but when they surface... Something's wrong. Put your mask back on. Something's happened while they were down there. Looks like he couldn't breathe. And not just on the boat. Stiff as a bird. Fortunately, the trio's oxygen tanks allow them to survive until the crisis has passed. Something took the oxygen out of the air and now it's back. But they are alone. Moving. In fact, you can see her moving. No explanation is offered, which is an improvement on most B-movies. This isn't about the end of the world, it's about a love triangle. This one woman, two men situation. And that's great. Science fiction at its best is about looking at the real world from a different perspective. The end of the world, Mr. Gurn. Harold and Evelyn are married, but does that mean anything now? Harold, look, your marriage certificate means about as much here as your money. Because Evelyn didn't seem 100% sold on the marriage before the world ended, and now... I'm a little dizzy, eh? For now, the trio just needs to stay alive, while keeping up standards, of course. Evelyn, don't you think you ought to finish dressing? Evelyn still puts on makeup. And does her hair, the men still shave, and of course, dressing for dinner is compulsory. The other problem is the lack of dimension in the characters. You think you are the thinkingest man. All the more obvious for there only being three of them. So, in the scene where they're packing, Evelyn packs clothes. Reluctantly leaving Vogue behind, Martin packs books. Cos he's the thinkingest one. And Harold... Well, I'm done, let's go. We are not amused. The marriage starts getting crowded. <laughs> Harold is furious. We had a balance here, we had a system. I have sex, Martin doesn't. Balance. And it's not long before this degenerates into two grown men slapping each other with fish. and Martin and Evelyn make a break for it in a car the size of an oil tanker. While Harold lays down the law. Evelyn, if you go away, I won't come after you. I won't come. Boy, that didn't work like I hoped it would. Now, Martin and Evelyn look forward to their new life. What if we were to have a child? How sweet. Whatever for. Discussions you probably should have had before burning your bridges with the only other man on the planet, because Evelyn clearly still believes in a happy ending. While Martin... All that's left for us is to live without pain. Ah, it's just a bummer. I'll be right back. Evelyn now having what we might call eloper's remorse, but Harold's not out of the picture yet. You're not taking my boat. 
There are a lot of other boats. We'll assume it's not really about the boat. <laughs> Civilization finally falls away as the love triangle is resolved the only way it could be. I killed him. Will we never learn? Interesting use of the word we. Let's go home. Well, you just killed the man I loved, but my options are pretty limited. How do you feel about kids? Don't you think you've gone far enough? Roger Corman is a talented director and shows that skill, visually foreshadowing the triangle. Harold, how about a swim? This isn't a bad Corman film, it's just not as good as it could be. And it was made back to back with Creature from the Haunted Sea, which is bad. Ah, don't be an old grudge. By making two films for the price of one, Corman increased his profit margin, but it's hard not to be frustrated knowing that if he had put that time and money into this one film, it could have been quite good. It's certainly a good thing the world ended when it did. Thanks for watching. To see more Roger Corman film reviews, click here. Corman made both good and bad films. Let us know your favourite and least favourite in the comments below. You make a nice martini.